Hey everyone, today I have a quick Google Docs tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to put page numbers on your documents in Google Docs. You can have them at the top, you can have them at the bottom, or you can move them over into the center. It's really quite simple to do, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, so here we are in Google Docs, and I've got a document here with a cover page and then several pages of random text. And this is what we're gonna be adding our page numbers to today. So we'll show you how to add the page numbers. We'll show you how to center it if you don't want it off in the corner. We'll show you how to change the font and format it as well as how to delete page numbers if you're trying to get rid of them because that can be a little bit tricky as well. So let's go ahead and dive into this. First off, head on up to the top left hand corner. You should, should see insert here and just go ahead and left click on that and you'll get a little menu here. And we're looking for the page numbers option here. If you hover over that, It'll give you another little box here where you can look at some different options. So on the left hand side here, there's two options. One will add page numbers to the top right hand corner starting at page one, and the other one will add them to the bottom right hand corner starting on page one. So if we add that, you can see starting with our cover page, page one, it's gonna add that to the top right hand corner. That's probably not what we want in this situation. It might be what you're looking for um, because I don't want a page number on my cover page. So I'm just gonna undo that. We'll head back up to insert here and I'm gonna go down to page numbers right here and hover over that. And these two options on the right hand side would be more what I would be using for the type of document I have here. I don't want a number on my cover page and this top one here will skip the cover page and page two of my document will be numbered as page one. So that would be this one here, that'll put it in the top right hand corner and the one below it, the exact same thing, but it'll put it in the bottom right hand corner. Now there's also a more options button here. If you left click on that, this will allow you to do things a little bit more manually. So the position for the header, footer, um, show on first page and numbering. So start at whichever number you like. So you could do that more manually. I'll let you play around with that on your own. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my page number. Um, we'll do it on the bottom right hand corner here. So when I do that, again, you can see that it skipped the first page. So there's no number here now. And if I go down to my first page of text, it'll actually have a number one here. And then page three, we'll have a page two, etc., all the way down. So that's the basics of adding a page number to your document. Now let's move into centering our page numbers here. So if you don't want it off in the right hand corner, we can move it to the center or even to the left hand side if we wanted to. So we're gonna double left click on it so it's highlighted. And this is where the tricky part is. You need to left click in front of the number so it's on the left hand side, um, not on the right hand side because you'll delete it if you do this. Then we can hit the backspace key and it's gonna move it to the center of our document. Now, if you did want it over on the left-hand side for some reason, hit the backspace key again, and it's gonna move it over to the left-hand side. I'll just undo that so it goes back to the middle. And now, when I scroll through my document, you can see that all the numbers are in the middle of my document rather than over on the right-hand side. So that would be how you would center them if you didn't want them off to the side. Now, for the fonts themselves, if you did want a different font or change the size, what we're gonna do is double-click on it make sure it's highlighted. And we can actually now go up and adjust the font. So maybe we want something more impactful like that. You can see it'll make it bold, or maybe you want it Times New Roman, you can change it that way. You can also adjust the size here. So if you want a bigger number, you can easily do that, or you can make it smaller, you can make it bold, etc. So however you want the font, you can easily adjust it that way. So um, make it exactly how you like it. Now, if you're trying to get rid of the numbers from your document, um, the page numbers, uh, that can be tricky as well if you haven't done it before. So find your number there and we're gonna go ahead and double click on it so it's highlighted. And you should see the option here that says options. It's a little drop down bar. And if you click on that, um, it'll give you footer format, page numbers. And at the bottom here, it says remove footer. Go ahead and left click on that and that will remove all of the page numbers from your document. So if this quick tutorial was able to help you add, remove, and format page numbers in Google Docs, if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care.